Hey, hello everybody. My name is Bob. Um, I'm back with some more Spelunky. You might be wondering to yourself, what the hell are you doing, Bob? Why, why are you playing Spelunky again? I thought that was supposed to be, you know, part of the something different Saturday thing. Uh, yeah, well, you know, I, I, I in the beginning, I was uh, gonna just do that every now and again, you know, just play Spelunky every, you know, every other Saturday probably. But I was playing this game, and then, and then I was like, I'm having such a good time with this game, man. So I want to keep playing. So I, I think I'm actually gonna just like play this game on my channel now. And uh, do do like play a lot of it, and uh, just just gonna, you know, you, I I, um, I hope you guys are here to uh, watch me get better at this game because I'm I'm gonna try my goddamn this to uh, to be better at this game because you know like I'm really bad at this game and and um, and you you know the the thing about being bad at something is that you you want to get good at it, right and so I'm gonna start to try to get better. Um, I've been playing a lot of this game off camera actually and. And yeah, that that's like I'm 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 having such a good time because this this game more over like more so than like Catacomb Kids or even Talamir or something like that. Like I I only play Catacomb Kids and Talamir when I'm on camera. You know, I I only do it because you know it's part of of like videos that I have to do. And he, and even though I'm having such a good time with those games as well, like uh, oh, fuck those stupid. Uh, even though I'm having such a good time with those games as well, um, Spelunky is one of like the only game where where after I turn off you know where after I turn off the the, the camera when the lights are off and the and the makeup is off of my face um, you know like I, I I find myself wanting to play more man like I find myself oh fuck I find myself going like I want I want more of this I want more of this in front of my face and uh, you know and so I I'm gonna start playing this a lot more I think because I'm actually having a good time God damn it I I, I never thought this uh, this whole YouTube thing was gonna be about having a good time, dude. I thought it was gonna be about you know playing obscure games that that, that people don't hear about. Uh, but yeah, uh, so for for some fucking reason, I'm basically just having like the worst goddamn run of my life. Um, I'm just like running into enemies, basically, and it's it's terrible. Uh, but uh, let's move along here. At least I uh, rescue. Um, uh, at least I rescue Monty. Uh, rescuing Monty is is. It becomes such like a big part of my strategy because like it's basically, you know, it's it's health, you know, and, and health is really good. And another big part of my strategy that I've been figuring out are these crates. Basically, I have been making more of an effort to try to open all of them that that I can because like they they it, it usually worth it, you know. Like usually when I don't open a crate, it will be because uh, I'm thinking to myself like oh this crate's kind of out of the way or or you know this this crate is like. I don't know, like, I need to use, like, a bomb or a rope or something to get it, but, um, but you, you, usually, it's, it, it's sort of, like, it's kind of worth it, you know, because, um, as I, as I kill the shopkeeper right there, it's usually worth it because generally they'll, they'll pay out with something that's worth more than just a bomb or a rope, or just a little bit of time to, to get to it, so, so it, it's, it's pretty good. Um, my skin is crawling, meaning there's a, uh, a spider level. Um, I, I generally don't like spider levels, like, every level that I have, you know, like a like a bad thing about it, and also like a good thing, like a like snake pit level, for example, uh, would have a bunch of snakes in it. But 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 you know the the trade off is that you uh, like at the bottom of the snake pit there there'll be like a pickaxe that that you could pick up, and pickaxe will let you you know break stuff for free without having to use a bomb. Uh, but spider levels usually doesn't offer anything unless unless you know you uh, unless you count like killing the big spider to get sticky white stuff. But I don't think that's I don't think that's worth it. At all, actually. Anyway, I'm gonna shoot those spiders. Ah, fuck! I missed. I don't know how I how I missed there. He he was a stationary uh, target. Um, anyway, let's move along here, and yep, there should be a shopkeeper here waiting for me. So um, I guess I don't know what to do. I mean, I mean, I could just go and kill him, I guess, but. But what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna get on this rope and kill these spiders. Kill that spider. And I'm just gonna like drop a bomb. Okay, that's not, that's not how that was supposed to go. Yep. Yep, so I just almost killed them basically. <laughs> so let, let, let's move along here. Uh, I didn't find a shop on this level, so I'm just gonna assume there's no shop on this level. Um Generally if I'm if I'm killing shopkeepers, I, I would like it to be a shop because 
uh, because having a shop basically just means it's more it's more free items basically because you're already killing shopkeepers. What do you have? What are you suddenly gonna avoid going to shop and steal stuff? Oh, okay, that was, that was close. Don't fuck around with these uh with these uh, tiki trap. They could. I, I I mean like as of right now they will literally like one shot me. So um, I gotta be more careful. Um, so that frog is stuck there. So I'm gonna kill it real quick. Oh boy, this this is just a tiki trap fucking level right here. I'm gonna kill a big grandpa frog over here. I said as I as I back, you know, like step back into a tiki trap and get killed immediately. But you know, it's, it's that's that's Blunky in a nutshell. You know, it's easy come, easy go. You know, Galileo let me go and all that. Um, so I accidentally triggered that arrow trap there. I'm very happy about that. And you know, don't don't get me wrong. I'll throw this over here. Is he gonna? Kill that snake. I don't know. I don't know why I went out of my way to like kill that snake. I, I think because like actually when when I first started playing this game, like snake was, I think my number one cause of death. So I I think I'm I'm having some somewhat of a you know like a like a grudge against them, if you if you will. Um, so move along. I did find uh, Monte on that level. Um, you should forgive me. I I but yeah. Even though rescuing Monty is such a good thing, um, generally, like if I don't fucking find him, like he's goddamn, he's dead. You know? Like I, I don't usually go out of my way to kill, uh, to kill Monty, to um, to to rescue Monty. I do go out of my way to kill him sometimes. Like if you, if you just watch some of my, uh, if you just watch my play here, even eventually you, you would just look at it and go, what do you have against that dog? Why are you? Why, why are you just setting him up to fucking fail? So you know, it's, it's cool though, it's whatever, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kill this bat. Like so, um, kill the skeleton guy, like that. Okay, no, don't miss the free money for no reason, you big dumbo. So like, I, I, I don't know what my high school of this game is, I, I think... I think like, um, I, I'm not good enough at this game to actually judge my, my play based on my score. I'm actually like... At the point where I'm actually I have to judge my play based on how far I get, and um, the furthest I've gotten was uh, the very first section of, of the ice level, and I've only gotten there like once. Um, so you know, and they're like once, so uh, yeah. And um, some some of you maybe uh, maybe thinking, especially those those of you who are more you know, um, more spelunky savvy, if you will, uh, maybe thinking to yourself, dude, like you're a novice, don't kill don't kill shopkeepers. You know, it's making it's making your life more difficult. And uh, not wrong, but also it's kind of like killing shopkeeper is uh, you know it makes the game more fun for me. You know, make make it more make the game more interesting, if you will. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bring the shotgun and leave it here so I can carry Monty over. Come on, Monty, you piece of shit. Um, don't ever leave Monty alone, by by the way, because he will walk onto Spike and die by himself. So. Uh, uh, let's take a peek down here. Okay, there's no spike down there. He doesn't take any falling damage, which is amazing. Like, like that dude will always land on his on on his feet, and and as you can see, it's very easy for 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 me to just fuck it, fuck it, die. Ah, oh, Christ! I forgot that I forgot to anger the shopkeeper, uh, which is which is kind of a bad thing to forget, but um. Yeah, so uh, Monty will always always land on his feet, and you know. So it's okay to drop him. It's just like it's not. It's just kind of not okay to let him walk on this bike. Um, man, is this is this, is this worth it? Like, I'm gonna have to use at least two bombs to get in there. But I also will get a crate. So we'll see. Let's see here. If only I have like sticky bomb. If I didn't have sticky bomb, I would only have to use like one bomb, or at least like, or maybe one bomb and a rope. Like right here, I'm gonna have to use like two bombs and a rope. So I don't know. I don't know if it's not. Oh, well, I got like three bombs back. So in in terms of the bomb front, it's definitely worth it. I, I don't know if it's worth it on the on the rope front though. Although you know, like like you could never have too many bombs. I I, I think, but you could sometimes have too many ropes. So 
That's okay, and plus, you know, we, we got a bunch of raids over here for free, and one of them contained a shotgun, so maybe I just won't kill shopkeepers in this run, because Ash would just have a shotgun. But, um, you know. Well, what, what, what happened to killing shopkeepers, making the game more interesting for you, Bob? Yeah, I'm fucking lying. Why, why would you... Why would you believe me? I always kill shopkeeper for the goddamn shotgun, man. I don't play video games because it's fun. I only play video games for the for the sweet ass cash uh, that Google is paying me, which is right now is at literally zero dollars. Um, there you go. Let's pick up. Let's pick up my shotgun. Uh, please ignore that uh, the damage I just took by walking into the spider back there. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you guys know this. I'm quite bad at this game, but you know, whatever. Uh, let's move along here. You know, like, like, if, if nothing else, doing this whole YouTube thing have, have really made me realize a lot of things about myself that, that I never knew before. Uh, chiefly, is that I... Oh, fuck. Damn it. Ah, oh, there you go. Chiefly is that I, I, I lack the patience to actually, you know, like, slowly grind through this YouTube thing. Because, uh, you know, you, you, you don't... You don't become accomplished day one, right? Like you, you need, you need to like grind it out, and you know you like I, I started out with zero subscribers, and and you know through, throughout like two or three weeks or so, I had zero subscribers, and then you know in, in one week I gained like two subscribers, and and I and I was like, part of me was ecstatic, part of me was was like, oh wow, there's like a lot of subscribers, um, and then uh, uh, another part of me which is like. It's only like two subscribers, you know. But but uh, uh, also like you know like the the so like you guys are so valuable to me, you know the, the viewers subscribers out there. Like you're you're so valuable to me. Not not not, not just in you know in terms of like monetary gain or or you know channel growth kind of thing. But also it's kind of it's good for my morale. But and and then you know like it's it's been two weeks since my two subscribers and my two subscriber count have gone to fourteen, which is which is. A, a tremendous uh, gain, all, all things considered. Um, so I need to kill this goddamn spider. There you go. Just double jump on his head. Um, that, that's not that's not how double jumping works. <laughs> um, also, don't try to jump on those on the granddaddy spider head because they're, they're not it's not it's not worth your time. Um, but you know, like it's also the subscribers. You know, like it's it's good for my morale. It's good for is. It, it, it makes me love this job a lot more than I thought I, I would, you know? Like, and it's not like a job, I mean, it's, it's a hobby. It, may, it makes me love this YouTube thing a lot more than, than I thought I would, you know? And and I, I, I mean, I, I thought about just doing it as like a hobby, man, but um, but for some reason, I, I'm i having like a really good time with it, and 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 it's all it's all thanks to that subscriber account. Like, like I, I can't, I can't, Get it up anymore, uh, un unless like you know, unless YouTube is like, dude, you got like a new subscriber. Um, but, but yeah, so I I, I think what I'm trying to say is, thank thank you for thank you subscribers is what is all I'm trying to say. Um, uh, no matter you know like who you are or 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 where you're from, just you know, I I, I don't care what you did as long as you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Is that how that song goes? Um, but. But yeah, oh, oh, but I, I never thought I would have the patience to do YouTube as I wasted like my seven fucking bomb trying to kill this goddamn shopkeeper and it just died doing it anyway. So you know, fuck everything basically. So let me just uh, start over. But um, you know, like thank you guys so much for for subscribing to my channel and for and for watching this video if if you really are like watching as my as my game just uh, just paused there to give me like a. Like a like a moment to to wipe the the tears from my eyes. Ah, but anyhow, let's uh, let's move along. That that guy should die. I don't know why I even tried to kill that spider there. I I, I think because he hit me earlier, so you know I just had to retaliate, stand my ground, you know. No, I I, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to bring the 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 Florida's uh, stand my ground rule into this. It, also, why did why the fuck did I drop down here so early? So I just want to get this crate first. Okay, I got like three ropes back for it, so I think that was literally worth it. Although it could have been even more worth it, but you know. it's whatever. Is what I'm trying to say. Let's move along here. Um, and another and another thing that I've been finding out about this uh this YouTube thing is is my my is doing commentaries is really difficult. 
you know, like I always thought to myself, like when when I watch like uh, someone do like a let's play and then they miss something like really obvious, like they make like a really obvious mistake. I always thought to myself, like how could they fucking miss that? Are, are they just like not playing the game anymore? And then, and 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 now that that I'm starting doing this myself, I'm just like, dude, like having a constant conversation with yourself is like really difficult, man. So you know, it's it, it's just kind of like it's straight up just really difficult. I was also got like jetpack shotgun, which is basically uh, the 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 greatest combination. Um, jetpack shotgun is is you know basically the combination that every dentist uh, recommend. Um, that nine nine out of ten dentists would recommend you have this combination if, uh, if you want to if you want to you know be successful in a in a spelunky run and also um, have keep uh, you know keep your dental health above uh, above you know, average. Anyway, he's gonna pick up Monty over here. Oh, fuck you, Monty. Stay, stay with me, buddy. Okay, so he's going to the exit. What, what the hell happened to the shopkeeper? Did he, like, disappear? The corpses don't usually disappear, so... I don't know. Oh, wait, baby, because I killed with the freeze ray, so... Yeah, that's why. But, uh, but, yeah, you know, like... It's really difficult to, to basically have a conversation with yourself and, and nobody else. And, like, you know... Just straight up like weird man. I fucking hate higher help in, in this situation by the way, cause like he, he actually like aggro the shopkeepers. Uh, but whatever, I killed him. Higher help by the way is uh is an NPC character that you could that you could hire to uh to help you there. So it's very it's actually like very aptly named now now that I really think about it. But um, you know, he's generally usually useless and and like sometimes it could be like pretty detrimental to your to, to your success as well. Like if if higher help ever pick up a shotgun, then Jesus, I I, I hope you I hope you've been praying every night because uh because uh cause that's it, man. Your 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 life is gonna be uh, resting on the higher help you know, shotgun building. And um, I do not recommend uh, doing what I'm doing right now, which is basically trying to like. Jetpack my way around the granddaddy spider, but uh, yeah, I did it. So, um, so, so what the fuck do I know, basically? You see that bang shot right there? That was good. That was good. That was really good arrow trap. So, um, basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drop a rope, and then I'm just gonna try to stick him. Oh, okay, I'm just slightly too late there. Oh, got him. All right. Ah, oh, and they just fucking jump on Spike anyway, so I didn't even have to waste my bombs for goddamn no reason. I mean, for no goddamn reason. God, for goddamn no reason. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Bob. I, I just learned how to speak English yesterday. Um, but yeah, I've been uh, I've been in kind of a good mood, you know, lately. Um, my my job is going quite well, and I'm I, I I'm having a really good time playing Spelunky and. And it, it, it just kind of like it kind of makes me wonder if if you know like no 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 oh okay thank God um yeah that was um that is exactly how 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 I saw that going down okay Monty you're gonna you're gonna take a shot for me here buddy um because you're for some reason you spawned right next to the goddamn arrow trap so uh, sorry about that by the way that is a vault that is a really interesting you could do with a vault and uh and, and the ghost um. And I haven't talked about that yet because that is basically like high level strat. And and the the thing about high level strat is you know I I'm, I'm not good at executing them, so I don't really want to try. Uh, whatever, there's a crate in here. Okay, I got a parachute. Parachute is a uh, you know very very useful when when you have literally unlimited ability to fly. Um, as, as as you as you know. Yo, whoa, what did your jetpack fail? Like, it won't, okay? It's the jetpack was probably made in Germany, though. Those guys are really good. Have, have you not heard the, uh, the, the, the review of, uh, of ShamWow guy? Of, of the, of the entire Germany, um, entirety of, uh, Germany's, you know, production industry? He said, he said it's good, so, you know, like, who the hell am I to judge, you know? I'm sorry, I accidentally killed a shopkeeper in the most amazing fashion possible there, so, yeah, I'm, uh, Pretty proud of myself. Um, is there any sacrificial, sacrificial, uh, sacrificial uh, altar around? I don't think so. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carry Monty to the exit. Uh, I'm gonna leave him 
here for a while, uh, so I will pick up my shotgun. Oh wait, no, there's like another shotgun. Oh, there goes my there goes my parachute. Uh, oh, oh, I killed Monty. God fucking damn it. Uh, I'm so sorry, Monty. I didn't mean to whip you there. I didn't think my my whip would reach so far back. I thought about picking up the shotgun and using it um, instead of using the whip, but you know, like, it was it's too late. It doesn't matter. Um, these frog will explode, so you need to get out of their way. There's another vault here. Um, so let me let me tell you about the interesting uh, thing that you could do with the vault that I was uh, I was talking about. Basically, um, you could do a very interesting thing with the vault. God damn it, Monty! I'm so sorry. I I don't mean to keep hitting you, but but I I, I do because I'm because I'm mad because I'm bad. Um, I wonder if Monty could get eaten by the plant. Oh well, I'll we'll have to find out. That's pretty good. Go pick up my shotgun. Um, so what you could do with the vault is, um, if you wait for the ghost to show up, uh, the, the ghost will show up if you hang out in a level for too long. So the ghost will just, like, you know, there, there's like a set amount of time. If you spend a level, you surpass that amount of time, the ghost will show up and try to fuck your day up. The ghost is basically a one-hit kill through and through. Um, and, but what, what happened is, Whatever gems, you know, like the the blue gems or whatever, the the ghost pass through, they well, let me just pause again. Um, they they will they will they will turn into diamond, and and if they turn into diamond, you know, then then the value increased by like a lot. And um, the the good thing the good thing about that is um, the good thing about that is you know like you what you could do is you could ghost the vault, and ghosting the vault basically just means just uh, you know, break into the vault with bombs and then and then kill the, the, the shopkeepers guarding it. And they just gotta crack open, like, you know, the, the chest full of gems and then wait for the ghost. And then the ghost will follow you by default. So you bait the ghost into, into you know, passing through the gem. And then um, and then once the ghost passes through the gem, they become diamond. You pick them up and leave the level. Um, which is a very good strategy if, if you're going for, like, a high score run. And if you're, like, a higher level, you know, player, you would probably do that too. Um... The problem with that is, I'm I'm not like a like a high level <laughs> sort of guy, and Monty is basically gonna get fucking killed here. I think as I could save him, I guess. But how is he not? How is Monty not fucking dead? Whatever, he's gonna leave a bomb here to blow up the tiki trap, and then he's gonna come down here. Okay, all right. Oh, okay. I, I I killed him anyway. I, I thought the frog would body block the the shotgun blast, but um, I guess I guess I was wrong as I as I tend to be wrong about the majority of things. Even though I would fucking argue with you, like I think I'm right, and I fucking die to the tiki trap. <sighs> One more run. Uh, yeah, I, I would I would argue with you to the goddamn death. Uh, you know, as if I was right all along, and that isn't that just human nature to. You know, to argue about things we know nothing about. Uh, like um, like one time, one time I think I got into an argument with uh, with an atheist. Um, and and I'm, I'm I'm not a particularly religious person, you know, but like, but 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 the the, the atheist guy, like I, I have nothing against him or his values. I, I just gotta wish he wasn't being such an asshole about it. You know, like, dude, like, like, it's it's okay that, that you have like a belief or an opinion on or whatever. Just, just don't be an asshole about it. You know, and like, it, it, that, that that goes for everybody. So, like, you know, if you're if you're you know Christian, Catholic, Buddhist, whatever, you know, if if you're agnostic or you know or atheist or whatever, you know, like, it, it's it's cool to believe in certain things. Just, just don't be an asshole about it. Right? Like, um. Like this guy was he, he was an atheist and and you know he uh, I, I I didn't know he was an atheist uh, so so I I didn't know he he was an atheist right we we were talking about like movies and I, I can't remember what movie we were talking about um, oh wait no we were talking about uh, Jack and Jill that uh, that fucking Adam Sandler movie and and after I said that I said that movie was terrible Jesus Christ right that's what that's what I say I said and and he was like. Oh, I'm I'm an atheist, and I'm like, did I? And and and, and I'm, I'm I'm assuming he said that because I said Jesus Christ, and and like, you know that that somehow offended him. But but I'm just like, dude, like, you know why? Why I, I didn't ask you. <laughs> it's, it's, it's 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 okay, just you know. 
They go, please don't, like, don't, don't shove your, your belief down my throat. Okay, just believe what, what, what you want to believe. You know, you, you don't have to be like a missionary for, for atheism. It's okay, dude. Like, you know, it's but uh, yeah, I just gotta kill the shopkeeper here, because I, I am a, uh, a godless killing machine, as you, as you can see. Wow, you see that fucking quadra kill right there? One more, and I could have gotten my, my pentakill if uh, Lee Sin didn't fucking steal it, jackass. That was a League of Legends joke, by the way. I, I do play League of Legends. I, I suck at it, but um, I do play it. I think about making videos of how myself playing it, but I don't know if I could do that in good faith. Uh, I don't know if I could do that in good faith. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so basically, yeah. but uh, yeah, I'm just not gonna fuck around too much. But... Okay. Can these things jump on Spike and die? I guess. I guess we'll find out, right? Jump on spike. Oh, okay. All right. I, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I, I, I'm thinking that they could, but I don't know. Oh boy, that was a, that was a close one. Um, so pick up these bombs. Throw a rope up there. Hello, Monty. Nice meeting you, buddy. I mean, nice seeing you, buddy. I, I, I met you before. Oh, there's an altar here. Okay, goodbye, Monty. I'll accept your sacrifice and bestow a gift upon you. Um, I, I, I think the, the, the sacrifice altar, like, depends on what you sacrifice on it, it will give you like a different value. Because like, I, I think if you sacrifice like a live Monty, then, then it will give you like, it will give you an item like right away. But if you sacrifice like, you know, like a dead shopkeeper or something, it won't give you your item. Fuck, I thought I could stick him. Oh, I got him. Okay. Where's his buddy? Um, they not here? Oh, he's like right over here. I'm gonna shoot him. He's dead, so why is the music still playing? Oh, I think, I, I think that's from like the ball keeper. So, um, anyhow, you just gotta pick up their corpses and bring it up to the altar. Um, by the way, if, um, like, I, I found out that, like, the best strategy for, for killing shopkeeper is basically just kind of have a vantage point. Just be above them, and then, and then, yeah, just, just be above them, and then, uh, and it just, like, just spam grenades, basically. Not spam grenades, like spam bombs. Or, well, the, the grenade in, in some technical kind of way, I guess, but, you know. That's a camera. Um, camera's been useless. I, I think it does kill certain enemies in one hit, though. And also, like the the, the ghost. Where, where where the ghost show up? The, the the ghost is you know invulnerable and there's nothing you know it's, it's unstoppable basically. Oh, a terrible chill run up just fine. That, that means the ghost is showing up. Um, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave. But uh, yeah, like the, the the ghost is it's unstoppable in in every way except you could take a like snap a picture with, of it with your camera and it'll, it'll freeze the ghost for like a second uh, so that's pretty good I, I don't want to touch that spider daddy because uh, I don't I don't care about it spider daddy is a uh, it's uh, the, the latest spider-man movie subtext by the way not subtext subtitle um, where uh, where where Peter Parker uh, you know settle down with Mary Jane and they and, and they have uh, and they have a, uh, a relationship I just gotta leave. Uh, <laughs> goodbye, shopkeeper. Um, and, uh, and you know they um, they have a, a family and and a, a a child. And then maybe a worker will have to you know play play daddy, and it's called Spider Daddy. It's a it's, it's a comedy. You know, it's a romantic comedy kind of, kind of thing. It's very very lighthearted. You know, rated rated G for for everyone. I know that that's not. I know that's not how the rating system works. G is supposed to be supposed to stand for general audience. It is supposed to stand for everyone, you know, I'm making a goddamn joke here, you savages. Um, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry if you are a savage, okay? I didn't, I, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to offend you, you savages. Um, yeah, I'm in a, quite a bind here, I, uh, I don't know what to do. I, I, I think he's gonna put a rope down here. Wait, if I do... Is my rope just short now? Oh shit. Okay. 
they need to do that. I'm just gonna break this open. And then, um. Oh. Cool. Okay. Oh, fuck. You see that? A brush past his goddamn bald head. Ah, uh, come on. Come on, shopkeeper. You gotta you, you gotta work with me, buddy. Oh, crap, 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 crap. That's not what I meant to do. Okay. Dang. This is the greatest bomb dodger of all time. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Oh my god! These bombs are like so close, but they're not they're not sticking him. Like it's been missing by like inches. Oh, okay, got it. All right. Goodbye. Um. Yeah, yeah. Only I had like what twenty one bombs, and now I have eight. But you know, kill them. It's worth it. Whatever. Let's move along. Oh my goodness! This video has been thirty one minutes. Yeah. See, see what I mean by like I'm having such a good time playing this game. Is that like? <laughs> is that like it's. It, it, it's it's kind of like, you know, I, I don't get tired of playing this. Like, it's, I'm having a good time. Uh, I'm just gonna drop this torch down here. This is a, uh, a dark level, by the way, which is amazing when, when you have uh, when you have a shotgun. Because, uh, ooh. It's amazing when, uh, when you have a shotgun because, like, you, you literally just cannot see anything and and also you have to carry a torch with you all the time and also everything is dangerous uh yeah i'm just gonna like leave my shotgun here and then throw my torch in the tiki trap okay no i died <laughs> oh god brain damage something hit me hard in the head yeah i, I feel like i have brain damage after dying like that <laughs> That was so shitty. Well, everybody, that was the end of the first episode of Spelunky. I know I'm really bad at this game, but I'm 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 gonna fucking I'm gonna get good at it, man. And not, nothing can stop me now. And I'm having such a good time playing it. That's 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 the thing. I'm so sorry if you, if, if you enjoy like Catacomb Kids or 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 Talamir more than this. I, I'm still gonna do Catacomb Kids and Talamir just less often because like I'm having such a good time with Spelunky. But anywho, I I I hope you guys like my my video. Um. Uh, please hit the like button to to prove it because because you know I you know the Alicia Key song that goes like some people want it all you know but I don't want nothing at all right like uh wait 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 no okay I'm sorry I, I was thinking of the, the the wrong lyrics I have like a much better joke no no like there was like a part in the song where you go you know some some people need three dozen roses you know no 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 three dozen ro ro roses you know. And that that's the only way to prove you love them. So you know you if, if you like this video, you know I'm not gonna ask for three dozen row whoa whoa ro roses. All I'm asking for is you know you hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. You know I'm really enjoying doing this, guys, and thank you so much to to all the subscribers. I I, I can't I can't say it enough. And and even though even if you're not a subscriber, you know, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for just showing up basically. You know, and and if you're having a good time, you know, just let me know in the comment section as well. And let, let let me know what you what you think about my channel so far and what I can do to improve it. I'm trying my best here. I'm trying my best. I'm also I'm buying a new um I'm buying a new microphone so so you know my my the the quality of my voice should should be improving uh relatively soon or it might get worse and I basically just toss a bunch of money down the well. But yeah, my name has been Bob. This has been Spelunky. I will see you guys next time.